All right, so I'm not gonna go over the box too much. If you saw my last video, you already saw me look at it. There's not a whole lot of information on here. This thing is available on Amazon. It was advertised as the Netflix 4K smart projector. Uh, I've already opened the box and taken a peek at the manual. It doesn't say 4K. So right off the rip, we're going to say it's a damn good thing I got this at half price. Otherwise, I'd already be returning it. But uh, let's get in here. We'll take a look at the projector. I'll get it set up. I'm not going to film everything. And uh, we'll take a peek, see what we got. So, fairly nice packaging, although it says nothing on it. Pretty decent manual. This thing's supposed to be able to connect to iPhone, Android, HDMI, auxiliary plug-in, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. It's supposed to be able to automatically line itself up and focus and everything. We'll see how that goes. Uh, comes with a weird little, like, cleaning brush. And a hex screw for adjusting the stand, apparently. I don't know. I'm sure I'll figure that out off camera. Hello! Scan that to activate your warranty. And you supposedly get a blind box, whatever that means. I'm probably not going to do that. I'm already kind of mad about this. Uh, another, like, guide, video operation guide and stuff. Got this black box on the top, which is apparently a projector screen. Comes with some cordage to hang it up. I guess it's a hundred inch projector screen. They're showing stick up hooks for the wall. Yeah, I'm feeling something in there. Looks like it's just a uh, Probably white polyester, just like the very cheap projector screen I already have up. So, nothing special there. Got two big foam blocks holding the projector in. Oh, man. It's definitely uh, packaged pretty well. I don't see any reason to complain there. Here it is. It is fairly large. I don't see why that would be any surprise, though. Small box here. What do we got? Useless cables. Power cord. Very cheap looking HDMI. And a remote. Which has some fast buttons on it. That's kind of nice. YouTube, Prime, browser. Interesting. The projector is very securely put in some solid foam. Worn tip, remove lens cap when using. Yeah, um, that seems like it kind of goes without saying. Looks like it's got some infrared and stuff on there. Got headphones, AV, USB, and HDMI. Got some angle markings on the bracket here. Guess that's supposed to help you line things up. Not sure what you would need that for if this thing's supposed to be able to automatically set itself up power button on the back uh, possibly infrared receiver there and cord and then you got I'm guessing fan input looks like you can pull that off to clean it out I mean all in all looks pretty good it's uh, not light it's, it's all plastic but it's not light it doesn't feel cheap feels pretty good um 
rubberized feet on the bottom. Yeah, and it looks like uh, possibly speaker vent up underneath there. We'll see, I, I suppose. I'll go ahead and get this thing set up, and uh, we'll see what we're dealing with. All right, well, setup was quick and easy. Um, hold on. Playing around with it after setup, I found you can shrink the screen by 50%, so it is now placed up there. To put it up there, but there's far too much stuff on my wall for me to have a screen that large. So I moved it forward. Hold on a second. I have to make some adjustments with the power cords. My cat was just playing with it, but set it up over here. It is quite clearly offline from the screen, which has also been slapped up and is full of wrinkles and everything, but uh, aligned itself and focused on its own. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. Um, set it up and connect it to the internet, and it looks like it's automatically loaded the time and everything first thing it wants to do is log into Netflix I do not have a Netflix account but uh let me pause and pull up one of my videos on YouTube and we'll take a look and I will mention it's not very dark in here and this thing is putting out a very clear image um, it may not be 4k but so far this is looking very promising all right, so I've got my latest video queued up here. Um, I don't know if this thing's updating or something right now, but it seems like I'm struggling to get it to read the remote. I have to hit buttons over and over and over again before they register. Not sure what the issue with that right now is, but not a big deal. With something like this, I'd recommend picking up a Bluetooth keyboard anyway. Makes it way easier to punch in websites and stuff like that. But uh. Let's give this a go and see how it sounds. So I just received a very large box from Amazon. I'm assuming this is a number of orders all stuck together. It'll be interesting to see if it's everything. And that's a label I've never seen on any of my packages before. So that's about half volume. Let's see what we got. Yeah, uh, might be a good idea to like iron out your screen if you have the option. I'm not sure how to do that. But overall, it's a pretty good picture, I'd say. This, this room is not entirely dark. I can see around the room absolutely no problem. I can read boxes. So, there's no issue as far as it not being bright enough. Getting this at half price, I'd say I'm, uh, I'm happy with what I'm seeing. It's not perfect. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth... Dolby audio. Might be the kind of thing where you want to get like a mount or something so you can hang it from the ceiling so that the speaker's closer to where you're sitting. But all in all, there's a special deal on this. I got this thing half off. You're talking $200 for what equates to a 1080p 100 inch TV screen. Let's see what else we got. I'll give it some more testing, see what I really think, oh, but uh, for an opening, initial thoughts, I'm not complaining. Pro multi-purpose 